Okay gang, so here is one way of doing the litter rigging. So you can see here, we've got a manufactured spider with the cam straps. So we really like this for ease of adjustment. If, you know, if you need to get the legs down quickly, you can just you know, release on the cam straps here a little bit, you know, to reverse Trendelenburg or you know, treat medically by elevating the head or, or lowering the head. Let's get this back up. Just quick pull on here. Okay, so an adjustable litter bridle. You can see that you want you want to limit the amount of space between the litter bridle connection and the patient because if you have a large gap here, it's going to be harder to keep the patient elevated um, over the edge transition. Okay, so a relatively tight uh, litter bridle. Okay, so you can see here we've got a deltoid link. So to avoid any sort of carabiner cross loading or triaxial loading there, uh, that's really important. Okay, on this litter, it has a carabiner connection points for those carabiners. Okay, so uh, that's what we're looking at here with the blue and the red um, cam straps. You can see that uh, our rescuer and our patient is both gonna have two connection points. Uh, just like always so we've got our dual capacity two rope rescue system going through our artificial high directional we've got a doubled bowling right here as our master point okay so um, our our big bear paw or rigging plate right here it is keeping any sort of carabiner pinching from occurring if you didn't have that you know all of these uh, tri-links and carabiners would have to go through the loops up here in the doubled bowling or an interlocking bowling if that's what you were going to use. So this just helps provide clean uh, rigging if you, if you have it. So the tail ends of the doubled bowling are going to be connection points, the backups for the patient and the rescuer. So you can see here we've got a little bit of slack in here. And this helps facilitate if you're if you don't have the patient on board and you're going to rescue them mid wall, you've got a little room to reach down, clip the patient into our system. So you always want a little bit of slack here. What we're going to do tomorrow is instead of doing all horizontal litter applications, we're going to do some vertical litter applications. And once again, you want to have slack here uh, to be able to maneuver the litter into different orientations. Okay, so that's one connection point, uh, the backup for the patient, and then a secondary connection point is going to be um, a pickoff strap uh, going to a, a, another carabiner up here. And you see how we have both of these through one carabiner, so what do we need to do here? The second carabiner? Yeah, we should just use two independent um, uh, carabiners. And ideally, if our patient had a chest harness on, um, one of these connection points would go to the chest harness, and the other one would go to um, his, uh, his waist harness. Cool, thank you. So we'll get that clipped in. Okay, so now for the, uh, for the rescuer, once again, we're gonna have two connection points, okay? So um, can everybody see uh, we've got this blue static line, all right? And on this blue static line, we've got the petal rib. So we've got about six, seven, eight feet here, okay? this blue line coming down from the rigging plate on which Kendrick is going to be able to repel himself down on this blue line. So if you want, you can tie, you know, a uh, figure eight at the end of this so you wouldn't accidentally repel off the line, which is obviously super important. Some people don't like to have knots in their rope going over the edge because if this was to get jammed in a crack. So if that was what you were going to do, we need to make sure on Kendrick's backup, which is the long tail on the doubled bowline, that this is shorter in length than that. So as he lowers down on the blue line, he's gonna self belay. Everybody see our three rack prussic right here? So he can give himself a belay up on this backup line or out as he repels down. You just need to make sure that this tail end is shorter than this if you're not going to put a knot in there.
okay? So he's got um, two connection points. The main connection point on the blue line going to the rig goes to your master waste connection point, and then the backup belay, our secondary point, is gonna get connected into uh, the chest harness master point, once again, for uh, redundancy. That makes sense to everybody? Okay, and um, tomorrow we're gonna add a couple things in here. We're gonna add um, a four to one or five to one jigger, a small mechanical advantage system, uh, like the Aztec here, onto this bear claw, because then what you can do is, once again, you can attach that four or five to one jigger to a patient and like pick him up off this master point and get him into the litter. So today we're not going to be loading or unloading the patient. We're just going to work on edge transitions. Um, but tomorrow that will be something else that you put here. You can also put an aider, like a little ladder on here to help you climb up and down um, on the litter. Tomorrow you'll be doing more maneuvering um, to get your patient in here. Okay, so does anybody have any um, questions uh, on the setup here? Okay, and then uh, I guess lastly in real life, we would probably have him in a vacuum mattress, okay, for some additional um, padding. Um, if we were about to go off a 200 foot cliff, uh, any medicine that needed to be done should be done. You don't really wanna do medicine on the wall. You wanna to try to avoid that. So um, if uh, Kendrick is our technical rescue um, expert, he's on the litter. And if there's any sort of uh, potential for medical needs, uh, maybe an EMT or a paramedic would just be on a separate rappel line um, to go down next to you on a different system, just rappelling to do any sort of uh, interventions. But once again, we try to avoid that. Sound good? Cool. Okay. So, um, yeah, we'll start uh, doing our evolutions. Oh, um, Ben's just going to talk real quickly um, about uh, the resultant and how the um, set of fours uh, work. Yeah, so guys, 